my dreams coming when true. Went and stayed down till I came up with my niggas. Right or wrong, fair or right, you know what's up with me, nigga. Never change on my gang, yeah, I'm stuck with my niggas. When I'm touchable, come run the money up with me, nigga. Went and stayed down till I came up with my niggas. Right. Yo, what's poppy to the and it's your boy. So, Free and Katie, man, we back in the cut with some more videos. We got some more news updates for y'all boys. Now, I was real. Drop a like on this video, bro. Let's get this video to 1,000 likes on it because we the live niggas doing this. All my videos are authentic. I bring in that real information. And we go from now. Now, I'll rip all credit. Go to my boy DJ Academics. He bring the videos. I bring them to y'all. Get my point of view and the stuff. I know when we can tell you from there. Now, look, we got my boy TK. Y'all niggas been begging me to update y'all about this situation, the young boy situation. I just knocked out young boy. Now, we got my boy TK. Now, look, I've been telling y'all this since the, like, the second update I done did on TK, bro. Bro, and I'm from Texas too, Houston, Texas, bro. Down here, bro, they gonna try to, first of all, they, like, they not gonna come light. You know what I'm saying? And what TK did, if you search up TK right now, my nigga got a song, but I'm talking about going on 200 million views, right? Beside his wanted poster, right? The US Marshals came and found, this a, a little nigga, like 17. Got the feds looking completely stupid. They go, okay, this this basically how it went. We're looking for this kid. Let's hammer this up. He won't walk around free. Let's hammer up a picture of his face so when someone sees him, he's gonna come to jail. My nigga take care one on side the sign, like, could be. I was, you know what I'm saying? Now they look completely dumb. Like, try something else, cause I'm right here beside your sign. Ain't nobody turn me in, you know what I'm saying? And then he had 200 million views, right? Not to mention he cut off his ankle bracelet. He was on the run. That's the whole point of the song, the race. If the beat. You feel me? He was trying to beat the case, but he ain't beat the case, so he cut the ankle monitor off, he hit the race. You know what I'm saying? By hitting the race in the ankle monitor, bro, he was, you feel me, out on bail, bond, house arrest, you know what I'm saying? Now he asking for that again. You feel me? Let's put it like this. If I give you a dollar, and you say you're going to pay me back, but you steal my dollar, and you come back again and say, can I borrow a dollar? Hell no, nah, you finna steal from me. You know what I'm saying? So bro asking to get on house arrest or bail, bond out again, but they was like, bro, you just stole from us. You feel me? You just cut your ankle brace it off. You feel me? Your ankle monitor. You shot a video beside your wanted poster. Hit a, hit the race. You feel me? And made us look stupid. And it's a billboard top number one track around the world. They kids listen to it. So them niggas extra mad. Now you asking us to give you bail again so you can do the race number two? You know what I'm saying? That's basically what they tell it, TK. So that means, bro, why they, why all this going on? Because usually why you, they fighting the case and they getting evidence or something like that. Usually you could pay and get out. You could be at home chilling on house arrest. They ain't gonna give you all the freedom. You could be on house arrest while they getting all that together. You could be at home kicking it. You know what I'm saying? But he he already messed that up one time. So now, you, even if you come out to be innocent, you still gotta serve that time while they find out. He could be at home. But now you gotta serve, sit in there while they find out if you innocent or not. You know what I'm saying? Either way it go, they gonna hit bro with guilty by association, but that's gonna be less than getting hit with murder. You know what I'm saying? So uh, especially first degree. You know what I'm saying? He got some crazy cases, bro. It, it's, it was three cases all together. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, we're going to get into this video. And I'm going to talk more at the end. Y'all boys under 80 Let's get it, man. Gang. And check it out now. Fuck a beat, fuck a case, fuck everything, nigga. Okay, now Tay K and his lawyers try to get bail today, man. But a judge says, if you don't get the fuck out of here, man, hmm. are you crazy? You thought you was going to make a goddamn song called A Race, cut your ankle monitor off, and think you're going to get let back out in the free world to go make a prosperous and rich career off of a murder you're accused of doing? Now, if you guys don't know, TK, who was arrested while he was a minor, he was locked up and he went through juvenile court. Because of that, there was never a bond system or a bail system put in place. Now that he's facing capital murder, he's an adult. His lawyer said, yo, he's entitled to a reasonable bail. Now, I mean, it's in the U.S. Constitution, man. Listen, you're entitled to a reasonable bail. And if the judge says he won't grant you bail, he has to have good reason. Now, the attorneys at TK try to paint okay, all type of ways of how he could be supervised if he was allowed back on bail. And the judge said, nah, man, he spit in our face once before, made a hit song about it. He ain't going to do it again. Also, they're basically saying, listen. We're troubled by all this shit, that a nigga would actually cut his ankle monitor off and discuss his case on a goddamn song that really went and became successful. Also, what type of message is that sending if he's accused of this crime? He could go rap and glorify his crime, and then we look all around online, and there's tons of free take a t shirts circulating and GoFundMes to get him released. Okay, so basically... They denied it. Uh, the judge also said, yo, y'all could definitely put an emotion in for an appeal. But to keep it real, I'm making a really level-headed decision. I don't think no court even higher than me 
would let him out back on bail. But if they will, you guys can submit your financials, and we'll go through that. And if we see that he's worthy of bail, we'll look at the money he's made, which supposedly it's now come out through courts. He did sign a, like, $600,000 record deal with 88 Classics. Basically, if he is allowed to have bail, they'll probably set bail at, like, $1 or $2 million, or maybe even 3 or 4 that he could post that 10%. And if he posts that, he'll probably still be on house arrest, but it'll probably be on some supervised shit where he has to pay for somebody to watch him at all times, and that person reports to the court. So we'll see what it is, but he definitely ain't getting out now, and clearly that song, that video, the, the basically just sticking a middle finger in the face of the judge in the legal system, that's what's keeping him in jail, okay? Now, is he going to really beat the case? My nigga, it's two bodies, okay? Now, some people might say, yo, he ain't pull the trigger, but nigga, it's two bodies, all right? Listen, don't matter if you pull the trigger. Sometimes it doesn't matter if you were in the car when the nigga who pulled the trigger was in the car who hit the gun, okay? Get in the comments, what you guys like. What do you guys think, man? Y'all think TK coming home soon? Y'all be the judge, man. Y'all be the judge. All right, now look, DJ Academics. Bro says it's two bodies, but look. Now let me partially agree. You you ever you you heard her saying at the wrong place at the wrong time, right? If bro kills somebody right now and I'm with this nigga and I just walked in like I, I just opened the door. What's up? He blasts the nigga. I'm going I'm going with them niggas. You feel me? No matter what just happened, bro. Wrong place at the wrong time. You know what I'm saying? All they gonna say is guilty by association. So basically that's what I was just saying earlier. He was like, can he beat the case? Nigga, he probably can't beat the, the murder case. Like, two murders, you know what I'm saying? He won't be charged with murder, bro. You know what I'm saying? They're going to probably hit him with guilty by association. He probably going to get close to the same amount of time, but less. You know what I'm saying? With it, rather than get hit with murder, like two murders. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to hit. Nigga, that's going to be life. They probably get a nigga double life, or they probably get a nigga the death penalty. You know what I'm saying? Like, t- Hey, that's life without parole. Like, niggas gonna be, you feel me? Like, that's gonna be some hard time. You know what I'm saying? So, guilty by association, they probably be more lighter, huh? You serve three years, you can get out on house arrest for about five, some stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, rather than him going there, down there for like to, pulling the trigger for two murders, you know what I'm saying? But being the fact they got the phones tapped and they got the messages of TK saying, is it a go? He was planning it, a part of planning, you know what I'm saying? That's what they saying. We don't know if he was planning it or not. You know what I'm saying? They already said, oh, uh, bro was in the car. And he sped off in the SUV. You know what I'm saying? But they show a car on the on the screen. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know a, a SUV and a sedan, them two different things, bro. You know what I'm saying? A car and a SUV, something different. You know what I'm saying? So for these to be professional, um, you feel me? Statistics and professional, whatever y'all want to call it. You know what I'm saying? Statements and facts and evidence. Y'all niggas don't know the difference between a car and a truck. How we supposed to? How we supposed to know you giving the direct, the real information about uh, Take A doing this and them doing this? You know what I'm saying? It's two sides. There's always two sides to every story, bro. When you close the door, it's niggas on the outside, it's niggas on the inside. You know what I'm saying? So we don't know if, hey, you feel me? It's, it's two sides, and they both could be right. You feel me? Like, hey, he probably could be like, hey, you was here, guilty by association. Take A probably be like, man, I ain't pulled the trigger. I was just caught up. They both right. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be guilty by association if you're there, my nigga. Especially if you communicate and you know what's going to happen and you're still there. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we dealing with. The government, my nigga. Like the police, my nigga. They not going to be... Nigga, just think about it, bro. You feel me? If a nigga made you look stupid and you got in a fight, you feel me? And asked you to hop on one of your tracks, you're going to be like, hell no. You get what I'm saying? So that's how the government looking at it. You feel me? We looking at it as a young dude making mistakes, bro. Let my nigga take it out. Let this nigga come drop a mixtape or an album or something like that. That's how the young people looking. The government looking like this nigga then uh, posted these pictures, these videos beside the warning sign. Throw him in jail. You know what I'm saying? You see what they did to Meek Mill, my nigga. <laughs> you, I, 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 I failed the P-test. And we got my nigga Take Care over here fighting two bodies. You know what I'm saying? You think they finna be light, bro? You know what I'm saying? Especially when he got this song making them look stupid. So basically, that's what my nigga DJ Academy saying. The reason they holding him in there is because of his song. Had he not had a hit song called The Race and he just got Mega Man and um, um, After You, he got them songs out and not The Race, possibly he could get out. You know what I'm saying? Because he ain't make them look stupid. But what we know, Take Care without The Race, probably not. You know what I'm saying? So. It's all, I don't know, bro. It's that song, like I've been telling y'all the whole time, bro. He made them look stupid, you feel me? So they're going to try to they gonna try to make bro look stupid, basically. They're going to try to hit him with their hardest penalty. It's, it's tit for tat. They're going to try to get back. The government not going to try to take a loss. Police not going to try to take a loss. They're going to try to make bro out of a prime example. You know what I'm saying? So that song, The Race is Doing Bro Good, is what got him rich. It's what feeding his family is what put the food on the table, my nigga. Salute to my nigga, Take K. But as far as the government and the police... 
they gonna they gonna hold it against Lil Bro. You know what I'm saying? And y'all know I'm all for Lil Bro getting out, pursuing his career, getting his music, doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm all for it. But y'all gotta know who we dealing with, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna get into this, but y'all see what's floating around on the cameras and what's going on on live on live body cams, and ain't nothing happening to niggas. You feel me? You see my nigga Trayvon Martin. You know what I'm saying? If they doing little dirty stuff like that. Come on now, bro. You feel me? And them niggas ain't even make them look stupid. They just pulled over on some scary shit. Take a like. So now what you think finna happen? You know what I'm saying? They finna try to do bro dirty. Facts, man. So we, us, we just gotta be on bro side, stand behind him like they people gonna stand behind them. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I know some people gonna disagree. If you don't disagree, we all got our P. For those of y'all that do agree with what I'm saying, get in the comment section, bro. I'm gonna read y'all niggas' comments. Drop a like on this video. Hit me up on my social media. I'll link me in the description down below, man. Check out some of the other updates there. Side across the top of me at the end of this video. And we finna continue to tee up, man. I gotta be on with some more videos. Free little take In order that I gotta stop the video, let's get it, man. Nigga, know the 50,000 on my wrist. Every nigga with me, real rich. Niggas having pressure about the bitch. I got all my cases dismissed. I don't go back and forth on the internet. Real niggas don't get into that. I'm tryna get in on my for real. I'm tryna get in on my.